There is nothing worse than getting a message from your wireless carrier that you've gone over your data plan and you owe some extra money, especially when you know you haven't used your phone that much. Hey guys, Rex here with iDrop News, and today we're looking at four things you can do to make sure you never get one of those messages again. Cellular data is certainly not cheap, and overage charges are usually even worse. So it can be a bit nerve-wracking when you get a bill indicating you've gone over your data plan. The iPhone has some impressive features that run in the background, which do things like sync information to iCloud and update applications, but if you aren't careful, that background activity can really take a bite out of your cellular data. So before we jump into the tips, maybe the most important thing you can do is to start monitoring your data usage. Most wireless carriers have apps for the iPhone that let you keep an eye on how much data you've used during the current billing cycle. Once you've downloaded one of these apps, just log into your account and your data usage will be available on the home screen. This is a great way to keep your data use in check. Now onto the tips. First is turning off cellular data usage for iCloud. Apple has made some tremendous improvements to iCloud recently, making the service much more useful. It keeps some of our most precious information, like your photos, backed up in sync between devices. But it's a good idea to limit that activity to Wi-Fi. Certain files, videos for example, are large and backing them up using cellular data will eat through your plan quick. To turn off cellular data for iCloud, Go to Settings, then open up iCloud, tap on the iCloud option again, then scroll all the way to the bottom and disable the Use Cellular Data option. Now iCloud won't use any more of your cellular data, and also this tip will save you a little extra battery too. Tip number two is disabling background app refresh. Many news apps or storage apps like Dropbox will sync information in the background, similar to what iCloud does. And once again, this can have a significant impact on your cellular data use unless it's turned off. If you go to Settings, then Background App Refresh, you can either flip the switch at the top to completely disable this feature, or you can disable it for specific apps. I recommend going this route because totally turning off the feature will turn off certain notifications you may depend on. For example, if you use a third-party calendar app, alerts for your upcoming appointments won't show up. So just be aware of that. So now the question is, how do you know which apps are using the most cellular data? This leads to tip number three, which is how to check which apps are using the most cellular data. If you go to the settings app and then tap cellular, you can scroll through your apps and see how much data each has used. An excellent way to monitor usage is to tap reset statistics at the very bottom of the page. Then, a week later, go back and check to see if any apps are using an excessive amount of data. If there is one, you can completely cut off that app's access to cellular data use. However, going this route makes the app unusable if you are not connected to Wi-Fi. I think a better approach is just disabling that app in background app refresh. That way the app is still usable when you're not connected to Wi-Fi, but it won't use data in the background when the app is not in use. In iOS 9, Apple added a feature which automatically updates apps in the background. It's great for keeping your apps up to date, but it's not so great for your data plan. In order to turn this feature off, go to Settings, iTunes, and App Store, and then turn off Use Cellular Data. When you do that, apps will still automatically be updated, but only if you are connected to Wi-Fi. Well, all right, guys, that does it for this video. There is a link to an article we published in the description with a few other tips that will help save you some data. So go check that out. And as always, keep it locked right here to iDrop News for more, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Later.